claims. Uh, we saw Beijing today double down on those claims that the U.S. is flying spy balloons over their country. Of course, administration officials have flatly denied that. Does the State Department concern that the foreign ministry continuing to push forward those so far baseless claims might further deteriorate the relationship between the two powers and not prove constructive towards working toward working to get closer to a meeting between Secretary Blinken and his counterpart? Uh, so uh, a couple uh, points on that. First, uh, there is no question that the PRC is uh, operating from its heels at the moment. Uh, the PRC is facing questions, legitimate questions, from a number of countries around the world uh, regarding this high altitude spy balloon program that uh, we've detailed in recent days. Uh, countries have every right to take up with, in this case, the PRC, uh, the issue of having had their sovereignty violated. Uh, I can't say specifically what countries uh, the PRC is hearing from, but uh, it's quite clear that uh, they're under uh, some pressure, as we expect uh, they might be, given the scope and the scale uh, and the brazen nature uh, of uh, this program, which, again, violated the sovereignty of dozens of countries around the world. Uh, we always like to encourage constructive dialogue. We encourage constructive dialogue in uh, our private uh, bilateral conversations. Uh, but uh, we also uh, encourage constructive dialogue in terms of public messaging. Uh, and the use of misinformation, disinformation in some cases, uh, is not something that we do. Uh, what we have been focused on in recent days has been fact-based. We've been laying out uh, as much as we can in public what we know, and uh, when it comes to this particular program, the scope uh, and the scale uh, of that program. Uh, we think it's important for us uh, to engage in this fact-based dialogue in just a uh, simple, straightforward way uh, out of transparency for the American people, but um, again, to leave our allies and partners equipped uh, with what they need to know about potential violations of uh, their sovereignty. When it comes to the PRC, uh, our position hasn't changed. With the lines of communication uh, with the PRC remain open. We want to see that continue to be the case. We think it's important at all times. It's especially important uh, at times when tensions uh, may be somewhat higher. Uh, we think we should handle this responsibly. Uh, we have attempted, again, to, mo to model the responsible reaction that we would like to see uh, from countries around the world in instances like this, knowing that this incident uh, is rather unique. We've acted responsibly. We've acted prudently. Uh, we've acted in an abundance of uh, transparency, again, not only for the American people, but uh, for people around the world. Uh, yeah, Alex? 